What's going on everybody? Here with a build that shouldn't be. If it's really tiny for you, that's over 100k damage on a non-meta build. This is my Klingon Recruit Discovery Mail. I'm going to show you a couple of things before we get into the build. All the bonuses he has are for ground. He does have two superior Romulan operatives for damage. He has two Gem Hadar that provide some damage, crit chance and crit severity for space. And he has a Kantari. So he gets damage from the Kantari, hull regen, hull regen, and defensive rating, and a little boost to his warp core. The reason we're going through this is because this is really an off meta build. So we got disruptor quad cannons up front. Terran Task Force Disruptors up front. Two Spiral Wave Dual Cannons up front. We're running the two-piece Lorca's Ambition for the stacking crit chance and hull penetration that the console provides. And no, that's not it. <laughs> there it is. Stacks up to 25 times. And this is standard, Colony Deflector, Prevailing Engines, at least for me it's standard. Marsilio Harmonic Warp Core, and Tilly Shield. Remember the shield gives you shield penetration. And there it is, your weapon attacks cause shields to receive 15% increased damage for 10 seconds. But the two-piece gives you hull regeneration. So in the back, we have two spiral wave disruptors, turrets, and the biomolecular turret with its console. That provides 7.5 phaser, disruptor, plasma, or tetrion. So it's good on a lot of builds to boost your damage. There's the console from Lorca's Ambition, crit chance, weapon power settings, and shield penetration. The bio neural infusion circuit, hull capacity, control, and crit severity. Zero point energy module, 2.4 to all subsystems. Starship drain. All right, the hyper focuser from the recon ship, mainly for the shield penetration and subspace barrier point defense bombardier projectile damage and crit chance dynamic power redistribution module directed energy damage and all damage resistance and i forgot to hover over it 33 percent disruptor directed energy damage so that's a little more shield pen I want to show you my stats here because they're kind of low. But this has shield pen. This has shield pen. This has shield pen. And the two piece bombardier and um, dynamo console gives you 33% disruptor shield pen. Now on traits, we have Fleet Coordinator. We have two enhanced traits, Superior Projectile, Superior Cannon, Innocuous, Adaptive Offense, Self-Modulating Fire, Terran targeting systems. Operative. 
and a good day to die. It turns your go-down fighting into a reusable buff. Emergency weapon systems on starship traits. Strike from the shadows. This should not be there. But our loadout system is that good. That should actually be target rich environment. All right, that's more like it. Best diplomat should not be there either. Weapon emitter overdrive and Terran goodbye. The best diplomat you replace with withering barrage. Everything's correct down below, guys. So if you hit the description, the script is correct. So let's see this run, how she does. Remember the, the amount of shield pen she has. There's just nothing left. Now, there is one member of my team that went over to the other side by himself. And I still managed to get there. And I have a member of my team on um, probe duty, which is really nice to see. So I'm still not hitting the gate. There I go. Now I'm going to use the console from the ship and it's gone. Those subspace tears are just evil. I did not use the clickable on the other one. In fact, it's not even on my bar. Because it holds you the one from the recon ship. Look at that. Wow. It holds you still and you can't do anything. You can't heal or anything. I get there to get one shot in. But he took care of that. So on the parse, he's actually a little low. But that's because he was so far away from me. So normally you do look for a lot of crit chance and crit severity and ways to stack them. I just wanted to prove that you can also stack shield penetration or hull penetration. And thank you, Cryptic, for the lag. I needed that. And still get a lot of damage out of your character. So, yo, catch me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Please, if it's your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Leave me a like. And if there's a particular type of build you want to see, let me know. I'm working on one now for a viewer. You can catch me on most of the Star Trek Online uh, Facebook pages. You can look me up for my own Facebook page, 1-800-BROKEN-SOUL. Catch me on Twitter, on DMs, Instagram, or TikTok. Yo, peace out. I love y'all for being here and supporting the channel. Quick shout out to those people that bought Zen through the Epic Game Store and used my supporter creator code. Yo, big thank you. For real. It's much appreciated and thank you, thank you.